Well, there it is, the bow of Katie Vincent's boat. Parents here, big brother, he's here as well. They've all got a name written on the back of their T-shirts. They're here to support her and to support the Canadian team. And you can be sure of a big cheer when Katie Vincent begins this race, C1 200 meters, where, of course, she is the world champion. We will take the go down the lineup. Um, Ludmila Lutsan, bronze medalist from Tokyo. She goes in lane one, the Ukrainian. There she is, and she won the longer 1,000 meter distance yesterday, so she's in good form. Alongside her, Nevin Harrison, who is the Tokyo Olympic champion. Maybe Nevin Harrison, perhaps not in quite her best form, but we mustn't discount her over her favored 200 meter distance. Maria Corbera, Spanish paddler, goes in lane three, fourth at the World Cup in Ratchitze in the Czech Republic this season. Then we've got the exciting Yaris Ladies Du Bois, Maybe a little bit disappointed in the C2 500, but came back in the C2 200 yesterday to win the gold medal. And she's been unbeaten in the World Cups over this distance this year. Then the big cheer. It is Katie Vincent. She knows these waters well. She's got a huge fan base supporting her here in Canada. And she was a silver medalist in both World Cups this year and is the current world champion. Lin Wenjun from China. She was shared the silver medal with Katie Vincent at the world, recent World Cup in the Czech Republic. She goes in six. Katarina Spyszkiewicz, Polish athlete who was fourth in Poznan. Then we have Maria Maillard, very good over the longer distance. She was the silver medalist yesterday in the 1,000 meters. She's always there or thereabouts, the experienced Chilean in lane eight. And Vanessa Tot, the ever-improving Croatian, goes in lane nine. On these canoes, which is why the positioning in that boat, as Katie Vincent was saying in that earlier clip, is so important. They just angle themselves right in the quiet moments before the start. There's the lineup. Final of the C1 women 200 meters. Lane seven forward. Four forward. Two forward. Eight forward. Well, difficult conditions, given there's a slight headwind pushing the boats back. They've got to stay calm over the start, expect a good start from the Cuban. Katie Vincent uses those long levers well. She's got plenty of work to do at the moment, but we're not halfway into this race yet. The Chinese paddler, Lin Wenyun, is going well. It looks like the Chinese really wants to make a mark here in this race, but it's really good to see Nevin Harrison, your current Olympic champion, pushing through, showing some form. She is indeed, yes. She hasn't quite done the training, maybe she didn't done last year, but she's such an exciting athlete. And there's about five athletes in this one. Katie Vincent's still got a lot of work to do, but Lin Wenjun from China pushing on hard, as is Nevin Harrison. Nevin Harrison, you can see the top of the picture there, maybe leading the way now. Will the Olympic champion do it once again in the World Championships? It's the lunge for the line, it is, it is Nevin Harrison. Chinese athlete in silver, and it's going to be a scrabble and a check of the photograph for the bronze medal. Well, impressive. She hasn't been around in a little while since the games, and she's been quite quiet around the edges. And uh, as we say, some people might have been questioning whether she has done the work. Clearly, she has been. Maybe she might have come off to work a little bit, having a bit of time to chill out after the games, but she's showing her herself you know she hasn't been in the best form but as you said david just shows she is clearly a quality athlete that is very well suited to this power-based event that's what it takes to be an olympic champion the highest level of quality at caliber athlete out there and she's showing what it takes to be the best in the world right now even when she's not at her best or possibly done and the amount of work that she wants to do she can still step up and take it on and for such a young age being an olympic champion that, that takes pressure and to be able to hold that mental and emotional pressure as an Olympic champion and come through and step up, she, she's going to continue to dominate this, this arena for quite some time. Yeah, such an exciting prospect. And just as he did down the bottom of the picture there, it looked like that may well be the Chilean that was, athlete. That, that, was, that was a really close. Looks like the, uh, could have been the Spanish that might have timed that dive just right. Uh -oh. 
might have popped over the for a silver medal. We don't know. Right, well, we're going to let's check the photograph. We'll get confirmation very shortly of the winner because no doubt about that, Nevin Harrison. She wasn't in the lead over the first half of the race, but in fact, Maria Corbera, well spotted, David. She takes the silver medal. Oh, time. 0.01 for second and third. Yeah, 0 0.66 second place behind Nevin Harrison. 0 0.67 to take the bronze, so incredibly close between Spain, China, and Maria Maillard just misses out by 